Chapter 1, The Haunting The old, creaky mansion on the outskirts of town had always been a source of mystery and fear for the residents of Willow Creek. It sat on a hill, surrounded by a forest of towering trees that seemed to whisper secrets in the wind. The mansion was said to be haunted by the spirits of its former inhabitants, and the townspeople whispered that those who dared to enter never returned. But for 22-year-old Samantha, the mansion held a different kind of allure. She was an amateur ghost hunter, and she had heard the stories of the mansion's hauntings for as long as she could remember. Despite the warnings of her friends and family, she was determined to explore the mansion and find evidence of the paranormal. As she approached the mansion, she felt a shiver run down her spine. The wind had picked up, and the trees rustled ominously. The mansion loomed over her, its windows shattered and its walls covered in vines. She took a deep breath and pushed open the creaky front door. The inside of the mansion was even more decrepit than the outside. The wallpaper was peeling, the floorboards creaked, and the air was thick with the smell of must and decay. Samantha took a step forward, and suddenly heard a whisper. It was soft and ethereal, and it seemed to come from all around her. Get out, the whisper said. Get out while you still can. Samantha hesitated, but her curiosity won out. She took another step forward, and the whisper grew louder. Get out. Get out. Suddenly, the door slammed shut behind her, and Samantha was plunged into darkness. She fumbled for her flashlight, her heart pounding in her chest. When she finally found it, she shone it around the room. But she was alone. This is just my imagination, she whispered to herself. It's just the wind. But as she turned to leave, she heard the whisper again. We're watching you, it said. We're always watching. And with that, Samantha realized that she was not alone in the mansion after all. Chapter 2, The Apparition Samantha tried to calm her racing heart as she made her way deeper into the mansion. She shone her flashlight into every corner, searching for any signs of the paranormal. The whispers continued, growing louder and more insistent, until they seemed to be coming from all around her. She was about to turn back when she saw a figure in the distance. It was a ghostly apparition, glowing softly in the darkness. Samantha gasped and took a step forward, intrigued. The apparition floated towards her, its features becoming clearer with each step. It was the ghost of a woman, dressed in a long, flowing gown. Her face was gaunt and her eyes were empty, and she reached out a hand as if beckoning Samantha closer. But as she got closer, the ghost's face twisted into a snarl, and she let out a blood-curdling scream. Samantha stumbled back, her flashlight clattering to the floor. She was trapped in the darkness, with the ghostly apparition closing in on her. She could hear the whispers getting louder and more insistent, until they became a chorus of voices, urging her to leave the mansion. She managed to find her flashlight and scrambled to her feet, running as fast as she could towards the door. But as she reached for the handle, she felt a cold hand grab her shoulder. She screamed and spun around, only to see the ghostly woman inches from her face. The ghost's eyes were filled with anger and hatred, and she hissed at Samantha. You should never have come here, she said. This is our home, and you are not welcome. Samantha screamed and pushed past the ghost, fleeing the mansion as fast as she could. When she finally stumbled out into the night air, she was panting and shaking. She had never been so scared in her life, and she vowed never to return to the haunted mansion again. Chapter 3, The Investigation Despite the terror she had experienced at the mansion, Samantha couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to the ghostly apparition she had seen. She had never encountered anything like it before, and she was determined to find out more. She began by researching the history of the mansion and its former residents. She learned that it had once been a grand estate, inhabited by a wealthy family who had lived there for generations. 
But over the years, strange things had started to happen, and the family had eventually abandoned the mansion, leaving it to the elements. Samantha was particularly drawn to the story of the lady of the house, a woman named Elizabeth who had died under mysterious circumstances. Some said that she had been murdered by her husband, while others whispered that she had taken her own life. But no one knew for sure. Determined to get to the bottom of the mystery, Samantha returned to the mansion with a team of fellow ghost hunters. They spent several nights investigating the mansion, setting up cameras and recording equipment in the hopes of capturing evidence of the paranormal. It wasn't long before they started to get results. They recorded strange noises, unexplained movements, and even the ghostly apparition of Elizabeth. Samantha was both exhilarated and frightened by what they were discovering. She felt like they were getting closer to the truth, but at the same time, she couldn't shake the feeling that they were playing with fire. And then, one night, things took a turn for the worse. The ghostly apparition of Elizabeth became more aggressive, and the whispers grew louder and more insistent. The team was forced to flee the mansion, with Samantha leading the way. As they ran down the driveway, they heard the ghostly laughter of Elizabeth echoing behind them. They didn't stop until they reached the safety of their cars, and as they drove away, Samantha couldn't help but feel that they had just barely escaped with their lives. Chapter 4, The Revelation Samantha and her team were shaken by their experience at the mansion, but they were determined to get to the bottom of the mystery. They continued their research, poring over every piece of information they could find about the mansion and its former residents. As they delved deeper, they stumbled upon a shocking discovery. They found an old journal, written by Elizabeth herself, that told a different story of her death. According to the journal, Elizabeth had not been murdered or taken her own life, but had died of a rare and incurable disease. The journal went on to reveal that Elizabeth had become obsessed with finding a way to cheat death and had dabbled in the dark arts. She had made a deal with a demonic entity, offering her soul in exchange for immortality. But the deal had gone wrong, and Elizabeth had become trapped in a mansion as a ghost, unable to move on to the afterlife. Samantha and her team were stunned by the revelation. They had been so sure that Elizabeth was a victim of murder or suicide, but the truth was far more sinister. They realized that the ghostly apparition they had encountered was not a restless spirit, but a demonic entity, feeding off the fear and suffering of those who entered the mansion. With this new information in hand, Samantha and her team returned to the mansion, determined to put an end to the demonic entity's hold on the mansion. But as they entered the mansion, they were met with resistance. The whispers grew louder and more insistent, and the ghostly apparition of Elizabeth appeared, looking angrier and more powerful than ever before. In a desperate effort to save themselves, Samantha and her team used the journal as a focus, calling on the power of light to banish the demonic entity back to the underworld. The mansion shook with the force of their efforts, and then, as suddenly as it had begun, it was over. The whispers faded away, and the ghostly apparition of Elizabeth disappeared, leaving behind only silence. Samantha and her team stumbled out of the mansion, shaken but triumphant. They had succeeded in putting an end to the evil that had plagued the mansion for so long, but they knew that they would never forget the lessons they had learned. Some things were better left alone, and they vowed to never again underestimate the power of the paranormal. If you like this video please give it a like and share. Subscribe the channel for more amazing stories.